Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, it's just a bit of a follow-up to my last one, which is the RTS City Builder camera uh, video. A, a user on Reddit uh, called CZ asked, uh, could I do the next step, which is zoom that changes distance and pitch at the same time? You zoom out, you see from above, zoom in, you're facing the building. League of Legends has it. Um, and what I've got working is this. So as you can see, we're at the normal kind of pitch. And then when we go below a certain threshold, the camera tilts down uh, to face sort of your units or the buildings or whatever you've got on the ground there. Just to see it better, I'll just quickly add in a cube, hit play, come down here. As we zoom in, uh, we get nice up and close and personal. Um, and it's really simple to do. So I'm just going to, I've already done it. This won't be a step-by-step -step thing. It'll just be walking through exactly what I've done and showing the nodes out. So again, if you haven't seen the last video, I'll link it above. But the, the concept is pretty much the same. So basically I've got a camera zoom function. So when I scroll the wheel, the camera zooms in. Uh, the way this works is it interpolates between its current position and the new target. Um, and then it sets the target arm length of our spring arm here. And then after that, to get the pitch shift working, um, I have a branch here and we're basically checking, is this target arm length that we're going to go to uh, when we zoom in, is this less than the pitch threshold, which I've currently set um, in my event graph on begin play, I've set my pitch threshold to be a quarter of whatever our maximum zoom level is. So that's currently 600. So if our zoom goes less than 200 uh, units, so essentially if our spring arm becomes less than 200 units, then our pitch will shift to minus 40 and it'll do it smoothly. Let me just undo those. So if the new target arm length of the spring arm is less than the pitch threshold, and that's true, we're going to go up to an interp two here. If it's true, we're going to set the relative rotation of our spring arm and we're going to take our current spring arm pitch and we're going to interpolate over a set speed to our cam low pitch, which is a variable I've set down here and it's minus 40. I got that by, um, cause you see we're at sort of minus 69. That should be minus 70. I don't know why it's gone to that. Just do minus 70. Um, so this is how our, our high cam high pitch. And then I know if I tilt this down to minus 40, this is our low pitch. So we're going to go from our current pitch, whatever that, that may be. Um, we could probably just plug in our high pitch into here. Uh, but this just makes sure that it's, there's not going to be any jumping. So we're going to take the exact value of our current pitch and move it towards our low pitch over our interp speed. You can change this. You can make it faster or slower. So for example, if I did this 0.5 and pressed play, as you go down, you can see it slowly zooms in, which you may or may not want. I don't particularly like that. It's a bit too slow. Um, I found eight works quite well. It's just a nice kind of zoom down. And then to have it going the other way, as we change our target arm length, if we check our target arm length and if it if it's less than the pitch threshold, then that's false. So basically if the new target arm length is greater than the pitch threshold, then we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to get our current pitch, set the relative rotation of our spring arm, and then we're going to interpolate to our high pitch, which again, we've set as a variable down here, minus 70. And then we're going to interpolate back at the same sort of speed. And that's pretty much all there is to it. As you see, it's really simple, really effective. It works kind of at any angle because we're doing it relative to the pawn. And yeah, that's that's it. A nice, simple addition to the RTS slash City Builder camera movement in the last one. I'm going to update the project files on my Patreon to include this new, um, this new branch, this new functionality. Uh, the link to the Patreon is down below. If you found this video helpful in any way, it'd be great if you could give the video a like and consider subscribing if you're not already. But that's everything for now, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.